Hey. Thank you so Woo. much. Thank you. Um, so I'm Filipino, and we have a reputation for being nice. In fact, we're so nice that we're the only people in the world who actually encourages marrying outside of our culture. We believe it enriches our gene pool. Example, average height of a Filipino, five foot two. I'm six feet tall because my great grandmother fucked a Frenchman. <laughs> Grandma took one for the team. She did it for her grandbabies. And wouldn't you know that two generations later, her risk would yield me, someone who half of you probably thought was Samoan. <laughs> uh, but still, like, I'd like to think I'm continuing uh, grandma's tradition because I did marry white. I would call, I would actually, in fact, classify her as obscenely white. We're talking Ohio pale here. Chris Bazemore <laughs> can attest to that. Uh, <laughs> Oh, there we go. Amanda can attest to that. Too. That, 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 that exactly. That's the exact tone right there. Uh, and so when I told my mom that, she immediately asked, she immediately, this is the first thing she said. Oh, you're dating white. Prove it. Send a pic. Oh. So I did. <laughs> and she immediately texted back, <clears throat> too pretty for you. Is she oh. blind? Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All y'all here that I can see your faces, that's the right reaction. But I know there's someone there who's a child of an immigrant who's looking at me right now and going, she called you ugly. That's it? Anything else? <laughs> lucky, lucky bastard. Uh, but, you know, to be fair, my wife actually is legally blind. Mom was right. Uh, <laughs> I'm an LA2, New York 4, and a blind Ohio 11. <laughs> fact, um, I said she's legally blind. I didn't say she's like Helen Keller, touch your face, braille reading blind. Uh, which means that her vision is fuzzy enough that she can't tell the difference between me and the rock. That's right. <laughs> Even blind girls think I'm Samoan. <laughs> so, Brian, whenever my wife hears the words, if you smell what the rock is cooking, it's adobo, as far as my wife is concerned. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I did grow up, though, in the Philippines. And coming from, I mean, I spent my half my life there. And coming from a poor Asian country, I can say the one thing that everyone has thought of, but really shouldn't say out loud. Uh, so let's see how uncomfortable I can make this room. <clears throat> Fuck you, China. You done broke the world and now we're doing this. And by the way, I can say all of that and be even nastier because I can't get canceled. I'm just a brown boy standing in front of a webcam asking China to get ass cancer. But see, I can say all of that. But here's, here's another caveat to that, though. I said China, never said Chinese. Big, big difference. China, communist bunghole. Chinese, really cool people. You've got to give it up for the folks that invented noodles. Noodles, man. It's why we have pasta. And pasta <laughs> is what gives meatballs meaning. <laughs> are so good. Even vegans have them. They call them falafels. And someone told me that falafels aren't meatballs. Ah, excuse me. Uh, uh, sort of spherical, very high in fat, and is the sole cause of me not being able to see my dick anymore. That's a fucking meatball. <laughs> anyway, uh, as an Asian American, but towards my point, as an Asian American, I have to give it up. <laughs> to the Chinese. They are American pioneers who made it possible for people like me to gain visibility in society. Just a couple of years ago, one of the biggest Hollywood movies, Crazy Rich Asians. If you haven't seen this movie, don't. It's racist. <laughs> Here's all you really need to know. Every crazy rich Asian is Chinese. Every brown Asian is their servant. You might as well just call that movie 12 Years of Filipino. We are, we are not <laughs> slaves. We are nurses. 
And if you can't, <laughs> <laughs> thank you. That's my time. <laughs> Woo! Keep it going for.